Well, here's a sobering fact. There are only about three weeks left until Christmas, and that means it's time to get going, folks. Yeah, this is <laughs> Cyber Monday, of course. A lot of people will probably be hopping online to find some good deals, check off their lists. New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow has tips regarding how to make sure your shopping today goes as smoothly as possible. If you're like me, you probably haven't even started holiday shopping yet, which is why Cyber Monday is a great opportunity to do it from your own home and find good deals. Last year, shoppers spent more than $7.8 billion on Cyber Monday, so the day can also be a potential target for online scammers. We have some tips to help you protect your finances this year. First, beware of the emails coming into your inbox. Hackers will sometimes do what's known as phishing, meaning they'll send a link to a supposed discount and then ask you for your credit card information or identity. Make sure you don't click on these email links and instead go directly to the retailer's website by typing its name into your browser. Next, avoid pop-ups and advertisements. If a deal is legitimate, it will be on the company's website. These kind of ads can send you to sites that ask for your information, but they can also contain harmful programming that can hurt your device. Finally, use a credit card when you log online to shop. The Fair Credit Billing Act from the Federal Trade Commission makes it so consumers are only responsible for up to $50 in fraudulent charges. And some credit card companies like American Express, Discover, MasterCard, and Visa will completely protect buyers. Debit cards should mainly be used for taking out cash, and if an ATM looks suspicious, try to avoid using it. That was a lot of information, so you can find it all on our website or mobile app. In Bangor, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.